All right, welcome in everybody. How are you today? Welcome, welcome. Today on the live at noon, I'll be talking everything Archangel. So we'll be talking about uh, how to work with the Archangels, uh, what kind of music, what kind of crystals. We'll be doing all of that today at noon on our Pathfinder Live. Um, tonight at six o'clock, I have an astrology class. I've been getting a ton of questions from you guys. As I talk about the Venus Kazemi, as I talk about the new moon, the full moon, the eclipse season coming up, if you want to understand how um, those transits impact you, that's the class. Tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, or sorry, tonight at 6 o'clock, Thursday at 6 o'clock. All right, there's a link in the description box for that, so I hope to see you there. Let's check out what's going on right now. What is going on, my darling? Oh, check it out. Crossing Bridges. Ah, oh, beautiful. Great adventure. That's my favorite. Stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. Boy, we are a lot stronger than we give ourselves credit for. Seriously, I think a lot of us um, have had those experiences where, you know, we are dealing with something um, very challenging and we are dealing with it. We are allowing ourselves to move through it. We don't even know sometimes how strong we are until after it's over. This feels like a new beginning um, that's that's big, a big new beginning, something that is uh, milestone worthy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'll know, like this is a turning point. All right, this is a turning point coming up. So let's see what's going on. A turning point coming up, okay. Ah! Are you kidding me? Tower, Wheel of Fortune. It's almost like this, <laughs> the Two of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. I like this. So it's almost like this is a very powerful push forward, okay? I mean, there's no denying this. This is not something that you can control. This is not something that you can ignore, okay? Big change happening it can be internal because it's underneath. It's the thing that you're not seeing. And it's almost like, oh, well now what? The world is my oyster, what can I do? I feel like sometimes when we say change and we have the tower energy, we think that you know there's something about loss. But I'm, I feel like this is a, a very opportune moment. Even though the tower happens, usually when we hold on to things that we wanna keep, there is a it's it's like the bridge doesn't even exist anymore that where you came from that it doesn't even exist crossing the bridge once you cross it there's no more bridge can't go back all right can't go back seven of cups showing up as the seven of cups page of wands so interesting i'll talk about that in a second king of swords ten of wands fool right in the middle Nine of Cups, Two of Cups, Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords. I feel like you're already on the path to the new thing, all right? To the new, you've got some Tens here, and you've got an Ace, and you've got the Fool. There's some new beginning here as it relates to something uh, financial. Uh, it could be a little bit of a windfall. It could be uh, a clearing of debt. Uh, getting rid of that which has burdened you, all right? So there's no more debt. There's no more of that. It can be a clearing the decks moment. And I feel like up until now, you haven't really known how to move forward. Or this is, this is a reading for somebody who has had a lot of opportunities or a lot of choice and has been kind of deer in the headlights, not knowing what to do next, not being sure. The thing that is really interesting to me here that I was starting to talk about is the adventure is calling. All right, page of wands, this inspiration, this new thing. I just feel like you're getting rid of an obligation, some kind of big obligations. If, ex I mean, this is kind of silly, but um, let's say you have been um, paying off credit cards. It's finally done. It's just a little example. Let's say you have been dealing with a difficult boss and you show up on on Monday and they quit, they had quit, right? It's like the other side of that, there's no going back, that that person quit, they're gone. Um, 
and you are free of it. All right. You don't really see it until after it's done. I just feel like you might be, you might be a little distracted. You might have a distracted moment where you get excited about something new, an opportunity that may be off the beaten path even. And the King of Swords is here to uh, ask a lot of questions. I really want to know where I'm going with this and everything like that. And that is all well and good, King of Swords. Okay. That is lovely that you ask all those questions and everything. But um, guess what? You're not, <laughs> even the King of Swords can't turn the tide of this. And I'm going to get a little clarity about this uh, Tower and the Wheel of Fortune. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, King of Wands, and the Sun. So beautiful. This looks very similar, doesn't it? The Sun and the Ace of Pentacles. So you're clearing the decks of something negative. Why are you holding on to that? I think some of you don't know it's really negative. Some of you don't know it sucks. Okay. Um, look at all the nines here too. Nine of cups, nine of pentacles, nine of wands. You're actively making a decision based on all kinds of experience. <laughs> right? All kinds of experience and having some self-confidence. I just feel like you, it's like, bring it, bring it. If this is going to roll through and take away something that is hard to deal with, I feel like it's taking away a thing that isn't, doesn't feel good. And when that's gone, it's just this energy of freeing. All right. Some of you can there's an impediment. I'm getting the image of an impediment, like a brick wall or a um, powerful person or a financial brick wall that is being cleared. King of Swords and Queen of Swords. Now, if you have been in a relationship with somebody and there's been a wall in between you, I feel like that's the thing that gets cleared. Okay. If you have been in a situation where it's unclear where this is headed. Even if it's a new relationship, all of a sudden there's like a level of understanding between the two of you. I feel like it's because you have some kind of creative, um, uh, some kind of fun time together or some kind of little, you know, like a little joke that you share or a moment where you giggle and laugh and like all is forgotten kind of a thing. If there was a lot of tough words spoken or anything like that. I feel like it clears the air. There's some beautiful clearing of the air here. The sun is just on the other side of this. I feel like you're going to ask yourself after you get to the other side of this, what the hell was I doing on that side, the, that side of the wall for so long? Why was I standing there? Why was I staying there? Why was I being betrayed, allowing it to happen? Why was I taking all the work on my own shoulders and not saying anything. Why was I allowing that to continue? I feel like it has something to do with, it's like the devil you know is worse than the devil, is better than the devil you don't know. And I feel like you're gonna be like, no, it's not. It's definitely not, not in this instance, okay? You're gonna come through this and see that things are the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. All right. And um, I feel like there's a new opportunity then for light, light, light. Some of you have been dealing with financial struggles. Some of you have been dealing with relationship struggles. Some of you have had a being pulled in a lot of directions. Okay. And that is going to come to an end. I feel like it's going to be much, much easier and I think you're going to say to yourself, why on earth did I let that continue? Why indeed? But now you know. And so on the other side of this, I want to clarify one thing here about the Seven of Cups. Six of Pentacles. I feel like you're getting freed up. You're getting freed up from a lot of obligations because there's other people that need your help, need your wisdom. 
need your energy, need you to be light. We need you to be light. We can't have you gray faced, stony, nervous, anxious, losing sleep. We can't have that anymore. All right. The universe is like, listen, if I'm going to get them into this next level, they can't be terrified at what's over the bridge. So it does feel to me like you get a little inkling of what's on the other side. The page of wands shows up, gives you a little bit of a glimmer, maybe just for a few minutes. Okay. So you're confident in what's ahead, not dreading it, not scared of it, whatever. Being able to speak your truth. I believe the queen of swords then comes in and says, you know what? I know what I'm going to do. I know which direction I'm going. I know what I'm going to clear out. I know what has been too big of an obligation and I'm going to say it out loud. And there's nothing else to say. Okay. There's nothing else to say. So let's continue on with this. Some of you, um, I do see, uh, Sag. Sag and Leo, I see Aquarius and Libra, okay? So if you have any of those energies in your chart, which you all do, <laughs> but some of them are stronger than others, right? We'll talk about that in the class tomorrow night. Tonight, sorry, tonight. Um, all right, link is below for you guys. If you want to continue on with me, Pathfinders, let's just keep going. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.